Hello and welcome to the program. A top lawmaker from President Zelensky's servant of the People Party, David Arahanya, has announced the candidates most likely to become Ukraine's next prime minister. The shortlist of candidates includes four people. However, it depends, it does depend on the coalition in the parliament. Now, to discuss this and other political issues, we welcome to our studio Alexei Paul Torakov, he's a political expert. Hello and thank you for Hello. joining us. So, uh, first question about the, the parliament says the today um, there's been a, a meeting, an unofficial yeah. meeting, to announced that the official meeting, the first official mm -hmm. meeting of the parliament would be on the uh, 29th uh, of August. A number of law and draft law uh, will be will be discussed. Uh, what's what's your take? Uh, what's your take on the event? What's your take on that? Uh, first of all, we have uh, to mention that the uh, today's meeting's uh, agenda is the procedures, the pro uh, some uh, steps, uh, some blocks of the official uh, opening of mm -hmm. the new session uh, of the new parliament, new session with all the uh, procedures uh, needed according to constitution. Who will state uh, the uh, the oath of the parliaments? Uh, which procedure? Who will sing uh, the anthem mm -hmm. uh, for the very beginning? So uh, the, uh, first, the mm. protocol, uh, whom to invite uh, or whom to not. Uh, for, on, uh, for instance, uh, should we invite uh, those representatives of those states who support uh, this way or another term, uh, aggression in mm. uh, Donbass or annexation in uh, Crimea, for instance, those who voted in the United Nations? Mm. It's uh, rather a question uh, to the Ministry of uh, External Affairs, but now we have a lack of the serious team within that ministry. Mm. So the idea uh, who would be the co co uh, communi uh, communicator, uh, uh, the representative of parliament, or maybe the representative of ministry, and uh, and uh, so on. The pro uh, but not only the protocol issue. Uh, for instance, uh, which uh, for instance TV channels uh, to ask for should we agree for for instance Russian or so-called uh, pro-Russian? Mm -hmm. We don't have the official list of it uh, to be invited. Uh, uh, which uh, translation should be made? Should be made made uh, translation into Russian, for in, as far as Russian mm -hmm. is an official language of the United Nations, and uh, so on. All these issues must be uh, checked. Uh, then uh, point number two, uh, the question, uh, the preliminary question, who will be in formal coalition, who will sign the agreement, whether it be it, uh, as we call it, mono coalition, uh, mm -hmm. the uh, party in power have enough uh, so voices, people, have enough ma mandate for that, or, uh, or maybe any other political uh, fraction now we can talk about, not exactly a political fraction, but a fraction of uh, parliament will join, will it be uh, Vakarchuk's uh, Golos, or maybe some independent uh, candidates uh, will join, uh, or mm -hmm. not, and uh, so on. This should be this, uh, uh, the next level, actually, the next spec, but uh, according to the procedure, the next level, uh, who will lead the parliament and who will lead uh, the uh, the parliament committees and how many committees where they have. Uh, usually we have uh, some uh, several dozens committees, mm -hmm. but now it is agreed uh, to have uh, uh, a dozen and a half uh, approximately with the leaders. But the quick uh, key question, the key problem of the nowadays party of power is the lack of, uh, let's say, political heavyweights with quite a serious political mm -hmm. background, diplomatic background, as far as we're talking about, for instance, uh, Foreign Affairs Committee and European Integration. Which brings me to my next question. That's a lot of, of things that this parliament yeah. had to deal with here in between, as you said, the protocol yeah. uh, and, and all these things. Would you say um, that this parliament and this, the fact that there's no heavy weight and, and these new faces are ready for that amount of, of, of work and what's uh, that's the task? That we have a lot of, let's say, it, mavericks uh, mm -hmm. in this parliament uh, and uh, the uh, party in power is, uh, uh, has some uh, lack difficulties with really heavy weights. But mm. a lot of heavy weights are represented in uh, other fractions. Former president, I mean, Poroshenko's uh, mm -hmm. fraction, uh, Timoshenko's fractions, and uh, so on. They could uh, deal with the everyday routine because uh, every expert realized that the uh, real parliamentary work is not in the parliamentary session uh, hall. It is uh, done in uh, committees uh, offices mm -hmm. where the draft laws are prepared. For instance, one of the key questions for today's meeting is the list, uh, the agenda of the draft law. First, uh, we need the list of laws. Some were announced uh, like uh, independence of uh, people's deputy. Mm -hmm. uh, now on the agenda soon will be the 
issue of the state budget for the next year. Now the critical point is uh, the idea to uprise financing the defense sphere and the security sphere. Uh, but we don't. Uh, there are some announcements, but the economy is uh, too weak to uprise it as if it was known some uh, two times or mm -hmm. three times. We can allow some uprise it, but not with uh, such uh, huge uh, figures and uh, so on. And uh, watch is lit, which would be law number one, impeachment, for instance, or vice versa. Why, why putting, because uh, maybe some Western viewers wouldn't understand, why putting that law as a law number one? Why, why is that law on impeachment the priority here? Uh, because, uh, first of all, it's a kind of a populism, a public affair. It was announced, it was the uh, capstone of uh, Zelensky presidential program. It was the capstone of its uh, parliamentary problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, the issue is working. As far as, for instance, uh, we have, uh, we are waiting for maybe local elections, mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, quite a, a bright uh, idea. And uh, it will could be an effective mechanism in uh, Zelensky's, uh, as, uh, Zelensky's uh, team uh, office uh, against, for instance, uh, not only Yanukovych. Now we have uh, procedures, mm. uh, criminal procedures against uh, mm. Yanukovych some, uh, with some additional one. It could be used for against Poroshenko. Uh, Poroshenko is uh, said uh, to have some uh, criminal investigations uh, against uh, him and the impeachment law could uh, support because uh, uh, within the, the framework of the law uh, it is standard that a special parliamentary committee must be done. Whether we have uh, could use uh, this uh, Michi procedures uh, against former president. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we have ex uh, precedent against Yanukovych, but this co uh, this precedent uh, could be uh, applied against Poroshenko as well. Uh, so we uh, can uh, forecast that the uh, Poroshenko's party will strictly vote against that, mm -hmm. and, and uh, it uh, brings us to the possibilities, pre uh, preliminary possibility of the internal tension within the uh, f further power in advance. This law on impeachment, uh, I'm going to focus a little bit uh, on that and then we're okay. going to switch to uh, another, another, another topic. Is there any guarantees that this law on impeachment doesn't backfire uh, on Zelensky, for example? Uh, uh, ja uh, in theory, but it depends uh, how wide it will be, how abstract it will mm. be, first of all. Uh, then for, uh, then we have a uh, constitutional uh, court, any uh, political party, political fraction represented in parliament, or at least some uh, dozen, uh, group of uh, people, deputies, uh, could uh, apply to the constitutional court to check this uh, law, whether it's constitutional or no. We have uh, a lot of mm. uh, procedures. And uh, while the is a constitution com uh, commission uh, uh, according to the procedures the constitution uh, court makes a commission mm -hmm. with the head and the head of the commission checks all this uh, framework and so forth. it will uh, seriously postpone it on the one, on the other hand according to the procedures of impeachment uh, there must be the majority in parliament against mm -hmm. the president to start mm -hmm. the procedure according to constitution we, we need a constitutional number of okay. people deputies but uh, on the other hand, uh, the majority in the parliament is pro-presidential. It's uh, yeah, it difficult to mm -hmm. imagine that pro-presidential party will start mm -hmm. the procedures uh, of I impeachment own, yeah. against the president in power. Uh, now, the parliamentary system um, in, in Ukraine is, is made in a certain way that uh, the, the nom nominating and having a prime minister in Ukraine depends of the parliament and depends of the, of the coalition. Four names, as I said. Um, have been uh, issued. We have um, potentially, potentially, mm -hmm. uh, Andrei Kobolev, CEO of state-owned oil and gas company Naftogaz, uh, Yuri Vitrenko, executive director of Naft Naftogaz, Vladislav Rashkovan, who represents Ukraine in the Inter International Monetary Fund Executive Board, and Oleksiy Oncharuk, uh, Zelensky's deputy chief of staff. Those yeah. are quite different background. How do we explain that in this list, two uh, two people uh, belong or work for 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 Naftogaz. Isn't there a little bit of a, a conflict of interest here? I would rather say a bit other when uh, that uh, Zelensky statements, uh, his approach actually, uh, social approach that we need uh, economic uh, experts, we need economists, uh, let's say it, uh, technocrats mm -hmm. uh, in power, and it uh, within his framework uh, to uh, preliminary uh, to have a preliminary. Point of uh, economists from the key 
structures from the energy sector, from the trade uh, sector, mm -hmm. uh, not from uh, any um, political figure, not uh, local governor. We are not much experience uh, with uh, that uh, uh, and uh, so on. That's uh, the idea. But uh, let's pay attention to the fact that uh, in the uh, uh, global agenda, I mean the global Ukrainian uh, uh, white politics, it's point number three, because point number one is uh, the formalities of coalition, whether mm. it will be or not, uh, at least technically uh, within the first uh, session we have uh, approximately a month, it depends how to calculate, to make a coalition. Then uh, we have approximately a month to make the heads of the parliament, the speaker, uh, to uh, first vice speaker and vice speaker, so number Number three, uh, Troika, we can use mm. this uh, term from the OEC standard, uh, and uh, to make the uh, the number uh, list of uh, committees and the heads of committees, deputy heads of committees, and secretaries of uh, com uh, committees. Mm. And only after that, so in some two months or even more, uh, the key question of the parliament uh, to make the government. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually, the president proposes his uh, representatives, maybe uh, one by one or within the list, then it came with the negotiation, discussions, uh, whether it will be through profile uh, committees uh, or not, for instance, uh, Deputy Prime Minister on Economy through Economic mm. Committee, uh, Security Prime, uh, Vice Prime Minister through That's Security Committees mm -hmm. and uh, so on, and there will must uh, have uh, uh, formal voting. Mm -hmm. on and, uh, and the next question, maybe it's a question number, how, how many ministers will be and uh, how much staff have their responsibilities uh, uh, they would uh, have. Uh, for instance, we have some experience to have a uh, vice uh, prime minister on European integration, but uh, on European, European, uh, Euro Atlantic mm -hmm. integration, but uh, the experience, practice, everyday routine shows the lack of uh, power of this uh, vice prime minister because he doesn't have uh, staff, doesn't have influence. So uh, these uh, issues must be mm -hmm. solved, solved by. Uh, by, so, by. Yeah. Uh, now, just, just to, to come back to the idea of Naftogaz, when, when, when Mr. Zelensky mm -hmm. said that someone from the, uh, who should be an economist, let's say, who should have economic uh, mm -hmm. knowledge, uh, would be prime minister, does that mean that a person who's an expert on economy should be a businessman which has obviously ties, you know, uh, with, with a certain path side. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm thinking uh, about. I tend to think yeah. it's a, a critical social problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, you could be an uh, economic uh, heavy weight, uh, but you do, uh, could uh, have uh, some, let's say, it, uh, lack of social support due to tension, possibilities uh, mm -hmm. of uh, being uh, corrupted, being highly involved in uh, bribery mm -hmm. or in uh, something uh, uh, within that. Uh, so that's the idea of the profile uh, parliamentary, democratic parliamentary control uh, over executive uh, power to check, uh, to, uh, um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, to do everything, uh, to check its uh, tax declaration, to check uh, its uh, uh, CV or mm -hmm. resume, uh, the uh, check make a red flag of the possibilities, uh, the risk of bribery, risk of uh, mm -hmm. corruption, and a routine, uh, uh, routine uh, process procedures of democratic control with it uh, have a weight. Well, thank you very much. That's all we have time uh, for today. Thank you for coming to the studio to shed light on the parliamentary system and uh, its issues. Uh, that was Alexey Poldorakov, political expert. Thank you for watching the program and stay tuned for the rest.